three degrees past dead center. Okay. A little off the uh, little off the genome here. Was grind off the telomeres and attach it to that other part. Now for a little splicing action. Pin this in. All right. Yes. All right here, it's ready. Yeah, just take that uh, down to 12th Street and throw it in that uh, uh, the living room there uh, of that uh, that big greenhouse on 12th Street. Just throw a brick through the window and toss that angry, horrific, genetically modified thing into their living room. And then uh, make sure that we got the answering machine on for when they call so we can help them. Oh, hey guys, Rex here. Um, I'm just in the garage genetically modifying extremely angry North Dakota retic reticulated badgers. Uh, we're crossing them with piranhas and uh, changing the genome so that it's more of a titanium uh, Badger fur, micro titanium strands, they call it. So it's impervious to small arms fire. Uh, it can basically, it's, it's part honey badger as well. We put that in there uh, because we want it to be impervious to poison and toxins and you can't gas it. It's basically totally impervious unless we designed it. We designed it specifically. If you just get this Western Dakotan, Western North Dakota Eastern Reticulated Badger slash Piranha on crack titanium badger kit. This has the right key to turn that damn thing off. And then you'll be free of the badgers. And so what we do here, and it's a public service really, is we create these badgers um, genetically modified with piranhas with titanium fur impervious to small arms fire. Uh, we create them just for the love of the community to make sure that if badgers like this ever were to occur in nature, or maybe if some crazy guy would make them and just turn them loose everywhere, we would know how to turn them off, see? And so that's, I think you should thank me for putting this all together and getting that done, actually. And uh, we, we'll take a moment of, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pause here for a moment and maybe have a little bit of silence and appreciation for um, you know, what I've been working on these last few years with the badger, titanium reticulated badger on crack piranha project that's impervious to small arms fire. Yeah, it's no problem, guys. I do. I just do it as a service to the community. Uh, then what we do is we throw bricks in through people's living room windows and toss these damn angry badgers on crack that are impervious to small arms fire into the people's living rooms. And uh, I tell you what, it's a good way to fund the project and to test it because God forbid that there would ever be crack badgers made out of titanium impervious to small arms fire that are part piranha that would just get in your living room someday. I mean, if that would ever happen, we would need to know all the steps to take. So that's why we do it here. Um, Hey, where's your deer antlers? You know it's mandatory for you to wear your deer antlers when you're within six feet of that deal. Excuse me. Yeah, put them back on. Yeah, that'll work. No, the ones that are spray painted silver and attached with the helmet work way better. That, yeah, that'll, that's fine. People don't listen to anything I say. Oh, the deer antlers thing, yeah. You know, we just, uh, according to 172.3, it's, it's mandatory. You have to wear deer antlers now. Um, in case you are just un caught unawares by one of these freaking titanium furred attack piranha badgers while you're just walking out to get groceries and it would just latch itself on your face, it would shred you. So as a precautionary measure, if you wear deer antlers on a helmet on your head, uh, deer antlers have been known in nature to reduce vermin from attaching themselves to the heads of deer um and also they look pretty damn good too 
I must say that. So um, that's one thing we've had according to 137.2 and the other one I said. Um, and we just write down, the way that works is we just write down a number with a decimal point on it, and then we just say it with confidence, and then it's a thing. You just have to do it. So some guy was like, oh, what about the legislature? I'm like, what does the legislature have to do with any of this? It's 137.2, or whatever I just said. And if it changes every week, that's how this deal works. Sorry. If you can't keep track of all the changes, I mean, I, and I don't know why people don't appreciate what we're doing here. It's just ridiculous. Some people... All right, you got your deer antlers on. Good. Now, be safe in that community. Good job. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, we, did, we, 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 we have a lot of other decimal point numbers that we're coming out with here, getting ready to, to do, you know, uh, there's certain ones. And if, uh, we, we put them in a clipboard, and we put it on the news. And we paid off the news, you know, a few trillion few trillion dollars and crack as well to the news crack works on the badgers and on the news people apparently uh, they do whatever the hell you want want you to do it when you do that so yeah that's what we end up to here in the garage just uh you can thank your local badger response team for all the hard work they've been doing and in saving people from these damn badgers that we turned loose and i just want you to really appreciate the science that goes into this I mean, the science is incredible. I mean, how could you take off the telomeres, reprogram the DNA to do all those things? It's just, we're in the 21st century and it's incredible the wonders we can do now. So hopefully that was fun for you. Rex out. <laughs>